GPS that gives you driving directions. I'm sorry to interrupt your tunes, but we need to talk. Take a look around. I'm not the new car I used to be. The season's dirt and mud really did a number on my carpet here. And that iced coffee you spilled? Hoo-hoo, that didn't help. And with the rain showers and all, I know it's going to be a real mud bath in here. So do me a favor and get a set of WeatherTech floor liners. Got it? Now, how about a wash in detail? What do you say? WeatherTech floor liners and cargo liners keep your vehicle's carpet safe from spills and messes. Made of the highest quality materials and laser measured, WeatherTech floor liners are specifically designed for your vehicle. And they're made in America. If it could talk, your vehicle would thank you. Order yours today at WeatherTech.com or call 1-800-CARMATS. WeatherTech. Complete protection. Completely American-made. Today in Florida Ag News, I'm a Southeast Agnet. Well, veterans, small and new farmers in Florida are being reminded you're welcome to take part in a workshop in Crestview this Thursday, July 21st. Daryl Williams, District Conservationist with USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service at Okaloosa County, said you can learn more about the various programs being offered. A lot of different type programs that are offered, particularly with NRCS, um, the Farm Service Agency offer various loan program for agricultural purposes, and the same goes with farm credit. William says they're hoping a good crowd will take part in this free workshop. We are looking for any veteran or small farmer operation, or in particular the new individuals, and this would help put a face with a name in the surrounding counties with agency folks one-on-one. To learn more, contact your local NRCS office. Producers, save big this growing season when you make the switch to a clean, efficient propane irrigation engine. First, you'll save up to 40% on the purchase compared with an equivalent diesel engine. Then save up to 50% on operating costs. Finally, you can say goodbye to high maintenance costs. Propane engines are EPA and Tier 4 compliant without any of the expensive fluids or filters required for diesel. Add it all up and propane is second only to rain when it comes to savings. Learn more about making the switch to propane at propane.com slash agriculture. Attention citrus growers, production managers, industry decision makers. The 25th Annual Citrus Expo is set for August 17th and 18th at the Lee Civic Center, Fort Myers. Don't wait. Pre-register now at citrusexpo.net. All pre-registered growers are eligible to win a John Deere gun safe provided by Everclades Farm Equipment. Citrus Expo, sponsored in part by Tessenderlo Curley, Dow AgroSciences, Plant Food Systems, the Citrus Research and Development Foundation, Fresh from Florida, Keyplex, and New Farm. Get all the details at citrusexpo.net and in Citrus Industry Magazine. Randall Wiseman, Southeast Agnet. Need a mailbox rental but need more information? Remember, Personal Service Center, 789-6683. How does $10 a month sound with just a three-month commitment? Remember, Personal Service Center, 789-6683. Mention WOCA and the setup fee is waived. Personal Service Center will email or text notifications to you when your packages arrive. Even scan mail so you never actually have to pick it up. Now that's service. Personal Service Center, 789-6683. Located on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street, Ocala. Look for the yellow signs. Want to learn more about your furnace or air conditioner? Tune in this Saturday for free tips and expert advice on how to get the most out of your heating and air conditioning system. Or get a free AC rejuvenation by being the first person to go to cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. Saturday, free tips and expert advice on how to get the most out of your heating and air conditioning system. Or get a free AC rejuvenation by being the first person to go to cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. This is the beat of a normal heart. Now this is the beat of a heart of someone who just snorted or injected or smoked methamphetamine. Why? For a high. And this is what happens to that normal heartbeat. It's irregular. It's racing. It's why it's called speed. And it can do bizarre things to our heads. It can make us aggressive and violent. We can start hallucinating and end up doing some serious damage to people. Call 1-888-8-NO-METH today for more information on methamphetamine. That's 1-888-8-NO-METH. A message from the Partnership for a Drug-Free Florida and America. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m., to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they 
can help you. All right. Thank you. Six minutes after 10 o'clock. It's going to be a hot one today. 95 degrees, the expected high temperature, the expected heat index temperature, 110. Is that right? 110? Wow. Uh, it's 82 degrees right now, and it feels like 102 already. Uh-huh. Really? See, I love air conditioning. I don't feel it at all. <laughs> Do you know what inspires me? People who have made something of themselves. Do you know, who was the guy? Uh, oh, gosh, I can't. Was it? Oh, gosh. Um, John Mellencamp. Remember John Cougar Mellencamp? Oh, yes. That guy? Yes. Well, he was talking one time on a talk show, and he said, you know, it's not where you are on the track. It's how far you've come down the track. Oh, I love you, that. Yeah, so if you have if you know somebody who started out with, like, really all the odds stacked against them, and then they made something of themselves, that to me is more impressive than the kid who was born with the silver spoon, you know. You know, like like the royal family over in, in England. Yes. They, it's not their fault, but the, hey, let's face it, they were born with everything handed to them. Yep, and they're living the life. So when they do great things, it's like, okay, you should be doing great things. It was <laughs> handed to you. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we have a young man on the phone who has done great things with his life, and the odds were stacked against him and he's written a book about it it's his memoir called a new day one uh trauma grace and a young man's journey from foster care to yale rodney j walker is the founder of forever life productions an inspirational speaker he's been featured at events for the bill and melinda gates foundation the department of social services the clinton foundation the department of education uh he's a keynote speaker at the white house how impressive is all of that uh rodney walker good morning rodney how are you Oh, good morning. Thank you for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Oh, man, you are impressive. You're, you're, insp- you're inspiring us already. Oh, no, thank you so much. I, 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 really, uh, I really appreciate being on the show. Where are you calling from? I am calling from uh, just outside of Cleveland, Ohio, actually. Oh, really? Are you are you at this thing, this convention, or are you just or are you just? I am not. I'm actually on a road trip. I'm, I'm actually driving from Atlanta to Chicago. <laughs> oh, oh, really? So it's just one of those coincidences. You happen to be in in Cleveland. Exactly. Exactly. Do you know? Do you know what this all this coverage of Cleveland is making me want to do? It's making me want to visit Cleveland. It looks like a nice city, especially on the waterfront. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, from a financial standpoint, I think Cleveland is, uh, has, has been, been winners for over the last few months. I mean, they just won an NBA championship, and you know they had now they got the convention. It's beautiful. I mean, it's just it's, it's incredible. They're doing something right. All right, I have already hinted that you have uh, made something of yourself when uh, it didn't look like that when you were five years old. Five years old, you went to foster care. I did. Uh, I went to foster care. I'm, I'm a byproduct of uh, two two parents who uh, who struggled with uh, drug abuse and addiction. Mm. Uh, when I uh, and you know and, and that kind of resulted in them being involved in the criminal justice system, and that's how me and my siblings got involved in foster care. Oh my goodness! So do you do you are you in touch with your biological parents anymore, or are they out of your life? I am actually. I, I, I got reacquainted with my parents and my my siblings uh, when I was 17 years old when I aged out of the foster care system, and we still keep in touch to this day. When you look at your life, I mean, I, I, I know we only have ten minutes to talk, and so just to, to jump to the chase a little bit, you've got, I mean, you've you've been successful, you've done really well. Do, do you have any one person or any two, two or three people that you mostly feel gave you the biggest help or the biggest inspiration? Absolutely, I think I think the the the, the catalyst uh, the catalyst for my success has been uh, from a mentor that I met my senior year of high school. His name was uh, Michael McGrone Senior. Uh, he was the dean of my high school at the time, and he's uh, my mentor to this day. Um, and he really helped me to unravel all of the the social emotional trauma that I had went through in my mm-hmm. early life, um, and, and helped me to cope with the fact that all these things happened. And he helped me to really come to terms with that, um, and to focus on my my education and lifelong learning as a way out of of uh, of that kind of of those circumstances. So he really was instrumental in that. Uh, once he was able to help me with that mindset shift. Mm-hmm. I was able to recognize other opportunities to grow and um, and, and come out of my, my circumstances, and that's really what led me to where I am today. Wow, that's awesome. And and you took that education, and you really had the motivation to become entrepreneurial. You just weren't satisfied working for somebody else at a 9-to-5 job. Uh, absolutely. In fact, when I, when I graduated from Yale, I, I did go to a large corporation and, and work uh, at nine to five, and I just I just didn't feel like I was serving my purpose in life. And so I, I you know I wrote a book, and I, I said that if I if I have the opportunity to travel the world and to, to inspire more young people, I would do that. And here I am. I, I have the opportunity to do that. That that's that's really. Do you do you um. 
God, gosh, I, I kind of lost my train of thought. I was so listening to what you were saying right there. The, uh, the, the path that you've taken, um, do you think anybody could do that? Do you think you were lucky? Um, what, what are your thoughts on that? Because some people say, oh, you were just lucky. Um, or, or do you think yeah. this country right. really gives everybody an opportunity? Absolutely. I think anybody can do it. I think, you know, so many people, when they think about my story, they get fixated on the Yale University. They get fixated on, you know, how I came from 12 different foster homes in the south side of Chicago when mm-hmm. I ended up graduating yeah. and going to college. Um, not only college, but like the top tier college in the country. But they don't, but Yale is just a, it's just a, a marketing point. I, my, my, the bigger point, I think, is that anybody can, can come from traumatic circumstances and, and put their life back together through means of going to college and getting a, a job and finding out their purpose in life and living their life and getting their career going. I, I feel like anyone can do that. I think certain elements have to be in place, and there is a strategy to get young people, especially young people who are in at-risk neighborhoods, to come to, to terms with their life and to get them to rebuild it. I think that can happen across the board anywhere. Did, did you have any tough love? Did you have anybody who said you're, that's a, that's a, like, you know, somebody who's uh, eight years old, nine years old, when you say, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I want to be a football player. I want to be a rock star. Mm-hmm. And, and sometimes tough love needs to put that person on the right track because you know what can happen. I mean, somebody becomes a rock star. Somebody becomes a, a football, a football star. But a lot right. of those people who had those dreams are, are, are you know, still sweeping streets. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. I think I think tough love works. I, I think it works for certain um, certain individuals, uh, not so much for others. Um, but I think really the commitment, um, commitment and conviction more than anything works um, in, a, in an extreme way. I think that most kids, what what we take for granted is that a lot of kids don't receive the, the time and the attention and the nurturing that you know the average youth uh, have. Um, and in my situation, growing up on the South Side of Chicago kids are missing that in an astronomical way they, we they're you know 50 percent of the mothers on the south side are working late night shift jobs so yeah. when kids get out of school they don't have any parent they don't have any parents and coupled with the fact that 60 percent of our south side neighborhoods are living in poverty um and that there are no there are no fathers in the household there is no nurturing taking place so there is generally there's no love in these kids life so they're not able to rebuild or even have a focal focal point so, where they want to go. So at the risk of sounding corny or whatever or, or cliche-ish, love is really the answer, isn't it? Absolutely. Love is really... Not only love, but the what the love and nurturing is, is definitely mm-hmm. the answer. Absolutely. And uh, were, were you ever leery about people? Uh, say you did need a, a little help once you turned 17 and got out, out of the system. Were you leery about asking someone to help you, like a clergyman or something, or did you do it all on your own? Absolutely. I, uh, in fact, um, I, when I left my foster care at seventeen, um, I was I was basically homeless for that first uh, for the first four months out of out of uh, out of foster care. Really? Um, I had lost I had lost my rights to get independent living. You know, uh, most most children when they age out, they get independent living. They get uh, you know they get uh, welfare. Um, but I, I, I lost the opportunity because I aged out too early. Um, I had made an agreement with my last foster home that I, I wanted to leave. I didn't want to age out at eighteen, so I aged out early oh. and I lost my. I lost my ability to get that. So um, I went back home to my parents, and they, again, they were extreme drug abusers, crack cocaine and heroin. My father went to Vietnam in 68, came home with a heroin addiction. Uh, My mother started drugs very early in her 20s. Um, And so I went home, and and I hated it, so I left. Went to the mission shelter, and I I was there for four months, and I did not want to actually buy any help. It It took an incredibly... Um, committed and dedicated person and my mentor to help me break down the hardness that I had um, to to allow me to to ask for that help later on um, in mm. my in my life. You're you're an amazing person, Rodney. Are you a dad yet? I am not, not yet. Well, <laughs> when you become a dad, those children are going to be so lucky to have you as a father. Um, I appreciate it. Gosh, we're so proud of you, yeah. and we don't even know you. But but thank you so much for taking the time out of your life to write the book, because I think, I think this is the kind of book that is going to help more people than you realize. Oh, I, it's my hope. It's, it is definitely my hope that uh, this book is you know restores hope in people's lives and it, and it, and it saves lives in, in a very meaningful way. You know, that the quote that I have for the book is that. You know, no one can go back and make a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. So I hopefully love that. people wow. really take that at face the, value. A very great choice for a title, the, A New Day One. A New Day One. Yes. Uh, Rodney J. Walker, be careful driving. 
Oh, uh, absolutely, I will. You're heading all the way to Chicago. <laughs> wow, and, and and come back anytime. Uh, give us a website so we can get the book. Uh, it's www.anewday1.org. It Got can also be found on Amazon and all major retail bookstores and online retailers. Well, good luck with the book. I think you're making a great contribution sharing your story. I think a lot of kids who pick up this book or hear about the story will definitely uh, have their lives changed for the better. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm honored. I'm honored to be on the show. Right. What a great interview. All right, we will take a break, and we're going to be right back. This is The Source, WOCA. Central Florida Eye Institute is the area's leader in laser vision correction. From high-definition refraction surgery and LASIK vision correction to custom cataract, glaucoma, and diabetic treatment, you can count on Dr. Crowley and his effective, friendly staff to provide you with the quality care you deserve. Call 352-237-8400 for an appointment or more information. That number again is 352-237-8400. 